A big opening Friday for a pair of movies hoping to revive the glory days of last summer's Barbenheimer. This time it's Glicked, as in Wicked and Gladiator 2. And as CTV's jean vier Bushman reports, the big hype comes with a new debate about singing in the theater. With its buzzy blended brand name, Glick It has landed, hoping to cast a spell on moviegoers. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Summons you to the Emerald City. Come with me. What? To meet the wizard. I couldn't possibly. This is your moment. I'm coming. In one corner, Wicked, an on-screen adaptation of a beloved Broadway musical. Rome must fall. I need only give it a push. Facing off against the swords and sandals, epic Gladiator 2, coming two decades after the first. They're hoping to recapture the magic of Barbenheimer. Hi, Barbie. Last summer, it scored the biggest box office opening weekend in North America since 2019. And now studios hope the hot Barbie pink craze will make way to the green of the Wicked Witch of the West. Ariana Grande Butera is great in a comedic role here. She really has some comedic chops and obviously can sing really well. But this is Cynthia Revo's film uh, as Alphaba. She is tremendous in this. But please note, shows of enthusiasm for this one come with a warning. There were complaints at advanced screenings. And if you think for a minute it is okay for people to sing in the movie theater, you would be incorrect. This is not a sing-along. At least one movie chain says silence in the room. Not only turn off yourselves, but also keep your singing for after the final credits. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News.